One thing you may or may not know about Val is that she's always had a fondness for rocks, geodes, crystals, fossils, that sort of thing. Um, and very appropriately and romantically, Patrick proposed to her at a rock and gem exhibit in the Science Museum in Boston. Yep, show it off, show it off. So I was thinking about that and what it must have been like to have one of the most important moments of your life surrounded by all those gorgeous gems and rocks and crystals. And it struck me that in a way, people are like crystals. Both people and crystals form in layers over time. And those layers merge and form together, creating various planes and angles. And each of them are different, right? Some are opaque, some transparent, some are more complex, some more simple. But what's really special about both people and crystals is that given their unique structure, whatever that amounts to, uh, they each cast a unique pattern of light on the world. Over the years, I've got to see all of the layers develop that comprise the crystal. That is Valerie. There's Babu and Rooster. <laughs> Princess Jasmine, the rock collector, the bucket hat orange Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Uh, the artist, the dog lover, the dental hygienist, the daughter, the friend, the sister. As Val's sister, I always hoped she would find in a husband someone who could see and cherish all of those layers like I did, because I knew that the light she would cast on someone as a wife would be so spectacular. You gotta take care of this girl, you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Since she told me about her first date with Pat, I was really optimistic that she would found somebody who would do that. They seem to share this core and really have a mutual understanding of one another's genuine spirit. And whether together or apart, they allow each other to shine. I think it's that mutual understanding that kept their relationship strong while Pat was deployed in Egypt, and that mutual understanding that led them to making the commitment to lifelong partnership that they made today. Valerie, will you have Patrick to be your husband and be faithful to him alone <laughs> as long as you will show him? I do. But, um, you know, as I, as I look back and I tried to write this, some of the stories I honestly still can't believe. Um, the fact that we fished the same pond for three years and didn't catch a fish. So today, both Valerie and Patrick add another layer to their respective crystals. They begin the formation of the layers that make them a husband and a wife. I, Valerie, take you, Patrick. Take you, Patrick. To be my husband. To be my husband. And I promise. And I promise. To love, to love and sustain you. And sustain you. In the bonds of marriage. In the bonds of marriage. From this day forward. From this day forward. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> <laughs> So it is my hope that you will endeavor on a lifelong archaeology expedition of sorts, <laughs> working to discover the intricacies of one another's structures, and helping one another to develop in ways that will contribute to the beauty of the light you each cast on the world. Valerie, I give you this ring. Valerie, I give you this ring. As a sign. As a sign. And symbol and symbol of the covenant made between us today of the covenant made between us today as we depart this place in peace you may kiss the bride But living three miles apart wasn't the only thing that kept us close. Um, when Pat deployed to Egypt, I knew you know keeping in touch was going to be really important. And Pat probably doesn't know this, but there were probably you know a dozen Saturday nights where my fiance was asleep at you know midnight, and 
I knew if I stayed up until two o'clock, I could catch him because that was breakfast in Egypt. Patty was always a good sport, but he was pretty patient trying to find the right girl. And in the entire time I've ever met him, he only ever asked me to meet one, and he married her today. Yeah, you married the best guy I've ever met. I'm so happy for both of you. Now and always, I wish you peace, beauty, joy, happiness, respect, and passion, teamwork, and love. Don't give me a hug. Love you guys. Cheers to our Mr. and Mrs. Lemon. <laughs>